Had the 229 adopted the low-level tactics employed by the Luftwaffe, the results could have been devastating. What gave the British the defensive edge they needed was radar. This was a new technology that provided accurate range, altitude, and the numbers of German aircraft as they approached across the English Channel. Britain's chain home network of radar stations proves critical in directing RAF fighters who cut down the German invaders. That was the one technology that completely alleviated the advantage the Germans had with their overwhelming number of aircraft. The Battle of Britain proved to be the pivotal point in the air war, and radar was the key. Once detected by radar, a conventional fighter of the time approaching at high altitude takes 19 minutes to reach the target. With its stealth and speed advantage, the Horton 229 covers the same distance in less than eight minutes. While the Horton's advantage in detection range is on the order of 20%, the combination of speed and stealth was absolutely lethal. And when you're flying at 50 feet, traveling at around 600 miles an hour, plus the reduction in the detection range, now you've got only two and a half minutes of reaction time for the Allies to, to know you were coming. Your response time then with low altitude, uh, when you only have 24 miles, that's two and a half minutes, um, you just don't have the time to respond. If you could keep them from seeing you and getting their defensive systems up, you create such an element of surprise. You can now basically roam at will and attack the targets that you want to. design predates modern stealth technology by more than three decades. If the Germans had deployed it in great numbers, uh, it would have been a game changer. On April 14, 1945, the U.S. Third Army discovers a top-secret facility hidden in the woods 100 miles northeast of Frankfurt. Inside, they find one of Nazi Germany's most advanced weapons, made almost entirely of wood. The soldiers must have been stunned when those doors opened up and for the first time, they see this aircraft with its unearthly shape, something that no one had ever seen before, a jet engine powered wooden aircraft. It would have been impossible for them to clearly understand the magnitude or even the importance of what they had discovered. In July, 1945, the Horton 229 and other advanced Nazi aircraft are shipped back to the United States under the code name Operation Seahorse. last six decades, the only surviving Horton 229 has remained hidden in the shadows and away from prying eyes. Generations ahead of its time, the coveted Nazi war prize remains under tight security, along with other U.S. artifacts, here inside a government warehouse outside of Washington, D.C. 